Hey guys, welcome back. I am Stu and this is Bashful Beach for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, part five of the Mayan SOS scenario pack. As the morning sun gives the sea an orange glow, build a thriving theme park on this forgotten beach. Your objective to achieve a monthly income from ride tickets of at least 6,000. So this isn't lava then, this is an orange tinted sea. So that's quite a cool, that's quite a cool idea. Um, so we've got a nice, a nice beach scenario. It's a shame that the goal is so low because 6,000 really isn't a lot. Um, we could probably do that in a couple of months with, with just a couple of rides. Um, so let's have a look what we've got then. This, this, uh, we've got free admission, obviously, because we're charging for the rides because that's part of the goal. We've got chairlifts. We've got some gentle rides. We've got only two coasters, um, a couple of thrill rides, some water rides, and some shops. Um, I am going to put my research into shops, which might sound counterproductive, but there is a reason for it. Now, I've had an idea for profit scenarios for a while now that I've been wanting to do, but I haven't tried it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the 6,000 in a month, but I'm going to do it by charging one pound a ride. So I'm going to need a lot of rides for that. And I'm going to need a lot of money to build those rides. And one of the ways I'm going to be able to afford to build things is with shops. So I'm going to research shops. I'll charge as much as I can for the shops. But when I build the rides, I'm only going to charge a pound, whether it's a carousel or a roller coaster. It doesn't matter. Everything will be one pound. This is going to be Poundland, the theme park. So I'm going to start building. I'll see you soon. Junior one, don't let those two pounds flying in the air fool you. They are for shops. The actual rides are all set to, all set to one pound. So I've got, I've come in, I've researched shops. So we've got a kiosk now. We've got those set 20 pound umbrella. So if it rains, we get a massive influx of cash. Got loads of shops down, toilets as well. Um, try and win best toilet awards by having at least four of those down at the start. Loads of shops down. See if we can win things like best park food. Um, try and get as many guests in as possible. Awards will give you a boost in guest numbers so we've got paths coming down each side got my favorite four by four system down here and then we've gone for six bumper boats very small tracks because we're only charging a pound so it doesn't really matter how how good the stats are so we've now got six water rides so hopefully that will enable us to win best water rides award um a couple of pirate ships roto drop um so at some point I am going to loop this back to here and then we can start um, putting down some courses, things like that. So at the moment, £791.50 last month. So that 50 has probably come from where I've put a ride down and it's um, the default is £2. So as I'm reducing it down, maybe someone has paid £1.50 or something for it. So I don't know yet, but but when I do complete the scenario it will be with one pound a go so yeah I've, I've got my work cut out for me i'm gonna have to build a lot of rides for this so um so yeah let's um let's get back to it i'll see you soon october year one so i've completed the path loop and i've got the rides in between we are now up to just under 1700 pound on ride tickets but look at the shop sale seven thousand last month so it rained there so that's given us a ton of cash so we can use that then to build some some uh, bigger and better rides so we're researching thrill rides now trying to unlock some cool ones rotal drops we are making some good some good money off off them um so maybe what i should have done was instead of putting the bumper boats down maybe i should just put a load of uh, rotal drops down but um, yeah, we're doing all right so far. It's taken us a year, but um, we're up to 1,700. So it is going to take a few years to do it. But 
I think it's it's such a nice looking scenario. It would be a shame to do it really quickly. But um, yeah, so let's let's carry on and um, I'll see you soon. October year two, we're now up to 3,000 on ride tickets. So we're halfway there. Again, it rained last month. We had almost 8,000 on shop sales, mainly due to the umbrellas. Um, but we are taking just under 2,000 a month on shop sales. So um, yeah, all these high numbers, that's when it's rained. So we've got a Virginia reel. Decent stats on this, but we don't really need good stats because we're only charging a pound a go. So they'll pretty much ride anything at a pound a go. Um, junior Corsa just here. That looks empty. Have I opened it? Yes, why won't, why isn't there anyone? Okay, no one going on that just yet. Oh, there's two people on that ride. Cool. Uh, the stats haven't come back. That's why they're not racing to it. Stats should come back in now. Oh, there you go. That's fine. And then we've got an Enterprise just down here, broken down. Um, chairlift as well. Some good throughput on this. So if we look at profit chairlift most profitable ride and that's because of the the throughput on there so we've got 23 cars two passengers per car so that's 46 guests can ride it um which gives us a whopping 46 pound if every single one of these cars is full um and then up here then heartline heartline twister um 0.52 excitement really bad that's because i haven't got um a drop on there so it'll give you a, an excitement penalty. i mean the excitement is rubbish anyway but if i'd have um but without that drop it gives you a penalty but it doesn't matter because the intensity and the nausea is so high that we're able to charge a pound on it and um not bad throughput to be honest because there's so many cars there's nine cars four passengers per car so what's that 36 yeah so not bad um so i'm starting to build the coasters now what do i say we're up to we're up to three thousand um and the chairlift is the most profitable so that's it's a little bit disheartening <laughs> but um we will get there but, um we have used up most of the space We've used it. We're halfway to the goal and we've used more than half the space. So I am going to have to be, I'm going to have to change, change my tactic, I think. But um, yeah, let's, let's carry on and I'll show you where we are. Hopefully we'll be a little bit closer to the target next year. October year three, we've got 4,000 on ride tickets. Again, it rained in September. So three Septembers in a row, we've had some nice bit of rain, nice boost in the shop sales. So vertical drop coaster. For this one, I've gone for the station to be maximum length. And that way then we're able to have seven trains. So throughput isn't as high as it was when it first opened. It was a lot busier earlier. So it's very simple design, just goes up, drop, loop, photo section, brake run and then back to this back to the station we could probably have it shorter but because we're running so many cars so many trains i just wanted to have a longer a longer brake run so we don't get any crashes and then i don't know if you can see the paths just underneath i've got a load of simulator rides just under there I built some just here and they were quite, and another rotor drop, and they were quite profitable. So I've built a load more underground just over there. Yeah, use a bit of uh, the space that would have otherwise gone to waste. Um, so I'm just trying the rotor drop because the rotor drops have been so profitable. So I'm just trying it without the top. So without the top, let's have a look. It doesn't show me a, a time and a length. Um, Or speed because it's not going up and down. So I'm just want to. What I want to do is I want to see if this is going to give me better throughput having it like this. Um, just a little experiment, and then maybe I'll, I'll alter these if it is. But um, 
Doesn't look like it's so far. Yeah, so a while to go then. So we're only on 4,000. And we are running out of space very quickly. Oh, I forgot this one as well. So we've got another vertical drop just over here. Similar sort of design. This one's got higher throughput because it's newer. Again, pound a go. Guests are loving it because the place is so cheap. But it's, it is a bit of a challenge. So hopefully this year we can build something a bit cooler. Um, so I am build, I am researching coasters now because we didn't have this at the start. So um, yeah, fingers crossed for a better year. September year four, we need 6,000 a month in ride tickets. I'm trying to do this by only charging one pound a go for all rides. Now I almost did it by accident in August. I say by accident because I want to do it when I'm recording. So this month then, I have been putting down a couple of extra rides, but I've also switched the rides off for a good few days in order to make sure that we don't, that we don't beat it. So we are, there you go, 30th September. So it's gonna go into October just before it gets to the six. There you go. So we're now in October. So what have I added then? Um, I've added a couple of extra rotor drops. So I've extended the one that's over there. Um, I've put down an extra couple there and I've got a couple of flawless coasters. So let me show you the, so what's this one then? Flawless, it just goes up, simple design, takes you up, drops into a cutback and then back to the station. Good starts on there. Again, a pound a go. Similar on this one, takes you up, down, Cobra Roll, back to the station. Another two just here. Um, very similar. So that's four flawless courses we got. If I turn it underground, there you go. It takes you up, drops you, cut back, and then back. Full length stations, so we get the maximum amount of trains, so we can get some, some really high throughput. And then we've just unlocked the splash board, so I've just put that down very very quickly um good start again a pound ago so hopefully we should be fine i mean we would have probably been all right anyway because we almost passed it in august so and we probably would have done it in september if i hadn't switched the rides off so we need to get a thousand by the 5th of october as long as we get a thousand by the 5th of october by the end of the 5th of october we'll be fine so that should then work out as six thousand by the 30th of october but october's got 31 days so there you go so we've we've we are well on track to beating the scenario so that's one thing to remember is that when you've got to do monthly a monthly target some months have got more days than others so it will be easier to do it in those months than in others so let's have a look at what our most profitable ride is the brown flawless just over here just a quick just to show you only charging a pound per ride what are we on now? We're on 2,000. Almost 2,000. We needed to get to 2,000 before the, or before the end of the 10th. We're going to do that. So we're well on track. So as long as it doesn't rain a lot and we don't have any breakdowns, another Virginia reel just up here, we were getting some good throughput on the first one. So I decided to add another one in this little corner here as well. It was a, a fairly tight space, so just making use of the tight bends. A lot of sick, a lot of sick down there, but it's not affecting the rating. Not that, that really matters. Um, how's the splash board doing? It's got such high capacity that it would be very, very hard for this to be full.
I suppose the slope paths probably doesn't help. What are we doing now? We're almost on 3,000 and the 14th. Let's run it on fast forward. So I've been wanting to do a Poundland scenario for a while. I just haven't um, haven't really had the scenario to try it on. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with with this. Um, going for these full length stations and not having block breaks has really helped. Get much higher throughput than you do without them. Um, I think you having all these flat rides and water rides at the beginning hasn't done us any favors probably should have just gone straight for the roller coasters and we're up to 5000 and we've got 8 days left we've got tons of shops being making loads of money from shops from all the food and drink and balloons and hat stalls one thing you can do if you're ever struggling with one of these and you're you're only like a few pounds out is you can charge for toilets toilets actually counts actually counts as a ride and i can prove that so let's put it on pause a second so as you can see because i'm charging a pound a go it's only ever going up in pounds so if i was to Let's find a toilet that's easy to click on. There you go. So if I was to charge 10 pence for those toilets, and now we go back into the into the tickets. Now we've passed it. Press there you go. You can see the 10 pence is going up on the ride tickets. So the toilet is classed as a ride. So we're almost at 6,500. So we're gonna beat the scenario. It's taken us four years to do it. And I don't know how many rides, dozens of rides. And we've done it. Stoo, fantastic. So as I said, it was such a nice scenario. Part of the May and SOS pack. It was such a nice looking scenario that it would have been a shame to rush through it and do it sort of by charging, I don't know, ten pound a go for roller coasters, we would have done it no problem. But so I wanted to try it doing a pound a ride, and we've done it. Fantastic. So let's close that window off. I am still. This was Bashful Beach. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.